Breaking news tonight here on Top Story. Sam Bankman Freed guilty on all seven counts of fraud and conspiracy. The 31 year old was accused of mismanaging customer funds, stored his crypto exchange, FTX, to enrich himself and his family. We're talking about potentially $10 billion in losses. Angela Senadel is back with us. She's obviously one of our uh, legal contributors here. You've been following this case for us. Guilty on all seven counts. You were following the case throughout this. I mean, it, it was tough for, for him to put up a defense. It was really tough. And frankly, I think it was lost the moment the prosecution turned the three lieutenants who were closest to him, especially Caroline Ellison, his former CEO. So it all started there. And that's the reason why I think Sam Bakeman Freed even stood up on the defense stand at all. He had no choice. Everyone said it was him who masterminded the entire operation. He gets up on the stand. He says, it wasn't really me. I'm pretending to be a naive person who didn't know what was happening. But all of the evidence proved otherwise. Yeah, essentially what he was doing, what he was accused of and now convicted of, is basically mismanaging investors' funds, right? He was sort of taking money from one pot, putting it in the other. He became the face of crypto excess, right, with FTX. And then it all collapsed on him. And on those investors, they lost their money. Right, it's true. So to some extent, his team tried to argue that they were scapegoated, that they were just being prosecuted because he was trying something new. He was going into a brand new industry, making these huge strides. And then when it applodes, he alleged that the government just prosecuted whoever they thought was responsible while not knowing what was going on. So that's what he was saying, that he was an entrepreneur, an engineer, a visionary. This news is still very fresh. Do we know about what type of prison time he could face? Well, the sentencing hasn't happened yet, but it could be for the rest of his life, Tom. Were, were, if the financial crimes were that severe that this man could go to jail for the rest of his life? Yes, they were for mis—they were for fraud. They were mismanaging so much money, using them for lavish expenses, and lying continuously. So there were multiple counts of fraud. One of the key witnesses in this case, right, was his former girlfriend, and she ran the hedge fund arm of this cryptocurrency. And at one point, I know there was this exchange that was sort of very damaging for the defense, where. She she didn't even know where the money was coming from and how it was being moved around, correct? Yes, that's true. So his defense attempted to say that I and just looked at these spreadsheets, but I didn't look closely enough, that I just kind of checked some boxes. But the problem is Caroline Ellison testified that he masterminded everything. And the biggest loophole was why he hired her and paid her only two hundred thousand dollars. If he was going to hire someone spectacular to really take over all the finances, you would expect that person to be paid a lot and be very well qualified. But when you have Sam Bigman Freed as the founder, hiring someone very low level, paying them a small amount of money, and then claiming that he's not the mastermind, that's a contradiction I'm assuming the jury couldn't get around. How, how much of a role did cryptocurrency itself play in this case, right? Because it's, it's a type of currency that not everyone understands. It exists. A lot of people invest in it. It's gone up and down. If you got in early, you're still doing pretty well on it. But but he became the face of this. And, and it also, I, I don't want to say it, it shows the uncertainty of it, but there have been a lot of big-name investors, namely Warren Buffett, who have stayed away from this. H how does this impact that market? It impacts it a lot because it gives the idea that you really never know what's happening. And if you don't know what's happening in an industry, these people might just be children who are playing with your money. And once you saw the stories of them using this to pay for an arena and to pay for these lavish real estate parties, you start to understand that maybe this industry that's unregulated can have pitfalls. Do we know when the sentencing will take place? It'll take pretty close to this, this verdict that we just had. I mean, you're right. The judge will determine the date. So if he didn't set it yet already, then we should know very shortly. And then in the meantime, he, he was reprimanded. He was brought from the Bahamas where he was essentially holding up, right? And he had moved part of his business there. Yes, he was extradited from the Bahamas. But also, this is not the full extent of his trial. So they actually separated these charges. And he will be on trial again in March. So it is possible that in addition to this guilty verdict, there will be even more decades of jail time in front of him. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.